Hey everyone, so it's been like a while since we've done one of these videos. Um, actually, I think it's been over a month. I think the last time we um, sat down and, and did this, we were in the midst of, we still had all of our stuff. Um, lots and lots of stuff. I think we actually did a little bit of a walkthrough through the garage and uh, showed you like what we were putting up for either our first or second garage sale. Um, but a lot has happened. It's now, you know, the end of the first week of November. Um, and since the last time we did one of these, we have closed on the home. It is ours. We own it. In fact, we just got notified today that the title came in. Um, the entire outside of the home has been redone, refinished, and repainted to, to match the host home's land and what their buildings look like, which is Utah's code for tiny homes. They're, they got some really weird laws as far as tiny homes go. But even bigger than that is, so I think the title of the video is called The Purge. Um, man, have we done that. And if you've been in our home, sorry, my foot. Um, this wall behind me was like covered in stuff, photos and art and um, and it's very symbolic of what the rest of our home currently looks like. And I'm not going to bore you with walking around our house, but um, not a lot of stuff going on in the You Show for Home. Um, on top of that, uh, I have checked out of my command. So next stop for me is checking into my new command in Utah. So we're approximately seven weeks out from actually making the move. Um, but I know there's a lot of stuff that Tiffany wanted to cover. Um, of what she's gone through and the cat tail you just saw come through the screen. So I'll let her, her talk a bit here. Um, we got rid of a large portion, probably about 90% of, of what we put out and what we did not, <clears throat> what we did not sell. Um, we just went ahead and donated to the local Goodwill or, um, additional like little thrift stores and whatnot. We still have some things that, you know, need to, to go away, but they're a little higher. The higher dollar dollars. stuff. Yeah. Stuff that's really hard to just give, give away. away. I don't know. Maybe we'll get to that point. Um, We're not there yet. Yeah, definitely not there yet. Um, we have come to the conclusion that some of those items may be a little harder to sell. Um, but because they're such high dollar items, we may be forced to get a storage unit. Something we were really trying to avoid. I mean, one of the bigger things of doing this tiny home move was it's financially frugal. Um, and having a 50 to a hundred dollar a month payment to have some room somewhere holding stuff, um, in my head is just absolutely absurd it, it is um, and so we're kind of hoping to be able to to sell some of you know those items um, but it is a real possibility that you know we may have to do that I don't know we'll, we'll kind of take that day by day um, I want to talk about second thoughts mm. <laughs> so I think that in the last video it was or, all hyped well and i think in one of the videos troy was kind of iffy um but i've had that moment now a couple weeks ago where every i mean 90 percent of the stuff is gone and i'm looking around and i'm going through the memory tote um of just anything from vacations to family functions pictures of over holidays and the kids opening their gifts and and um it it took me down a um down a road of you know well what are the holidays going to look like next year mm -hmm. and you know what if someone buys us something don't <laughs> yeah, gift cards gift cards, <laughs> gift cards. <laughs> Um, gift cards that can be spent on plane tickets to go and... Oh, yeah. We'll tell you about that, like, too, because we have our very first trip planned of what to do with our um, saved money. So, 
But I, I have to admit, I had you know a, a couple of days where it's a little emotional about that aspect of it. Um, but it it's passed, and I remember why, and I'm still excited about why, um, and the why is the um, first place that uh, we plan mm. on going. Um, it's Hawaii. <laughs> We're going to Hawaii in July next year. Yeah. So that's definitely something very cool. And we actually, uh, the money we've made off of selling a lot of, I, I, whatever you're thinking in your head of the amount of stuff that we had in, I'm talking about just the stuff that was in totes that didn't even get unpacked since we moved here three years ago. Mm -hmm. It was unbelievable. Those items alone got us enough money um, to plan our, our first trip because this whole thing was about experiences over stuff, right? So we wanted to see the world and instead of bringing a bunch of materialistic, into our, materialistic stuff into our home, we're going to go out and see the world. And her very, she was always really butthurt about me, even though it was military that took it's me there. Still I went to Hawaii in 2008 on turtles. borders. Right. So anyway. Did you go to the beach while you were there? Maybe. Once? Mm -hmm. Twice? Trace? Maybe. maybe. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. So anyway, I know that she, this is a place where she's wanted to go. Um, that is our first trip. So we're going to go to Hawaii in July. Um, and that's paid for. I mean, we, we, we have the money to do that. But something we also want to talk on, like, so it's November what? Eighth. Eighth today. I work so we, today. So we have a couple months before we're, like, in the throes of doing this tiny living thing. Um, we're leaving here December 28th. So we're already starting to attempt to live that lifestyle as much as possible. Um, and we were talking about this before we even press record, like, Share some things that you're now doing that maybe we weren't really doing. Uh, so I don't like to run out of things ever. Toothpaste is one of them. I, I don't like not having a supply of toothpaste. And so <laughs> this is, I do like I'll, I'll yeah, we've got the, <laughs> we've got the, the one that we're using and probably four to five in reserve. And when I pull from the reserve, <laughs> then I pick up another one. I don't know. I'm, I'm weird about toothpaste. So, <laughs> <laughs> yep. So what I've been trying to do, not just with the toothpaste, but the toothpaste has been a very difficult one for me, um, is using them and not replacing them. Um, and so we are literally on the last of the reserve tube and it's about halfway and I'm the struggle is real right <laughs> I'm feeling like first world problems I'm feeling to the like, core. um maybe three more four more brushes and I may have to go and and get um oh, another so tube of toothpaste and same with we we did run out of toilet paper we did completely run How out of toilet paper. How does that happen? I don't know. So, I don't like, know. And it wasn't like we ran out of toilet paper and then someone hustled out to go get it. It was like a 48-hour time gap where eventually I was like, do I need to put on shoes? And <laughs> I don't know. Do I need to do something? Because let me tell you something. The weather, when the temperature drops below 72 she is barricaded into the home with seven blankets wrapped around her. And we're in Colorado, as we've stated before, and, and we've had a couple snowstorms. Um, so, yeah. And another thing I'll share, a little intimate, tiny living transition thing. So, toothpaste, just, toothpaste isn't the only thing that has been like that our entire lives, our entire 21 years together, this <laughs> closet full of stuff. There was a special trip made yesterday where, like, full-length adult discussions were had in Target about shampoo and oh. conditioner. First, I'd like to say, 
I've always bought not expensive because there was a lot of us it. And a lot of us. And there was. I don't like to run out of cleaning supplies, be it body or home. Like I just, I need to be able to keep things clean, right? I, I'm not debating that. <laughs> I'm just saying that I am well into my 40s and I've never stood in Target and <laughs> sniffed and debated shampoo and conditioner and discussing how much I'm using per hair event. <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> It's now it's not like you know twelve dollars a bottle, which is the really good stuff, which maybe one day we'll get to. But we have, never, we'll never get to that. bottles. I, there may there could be five hundred dollar, and but it may least five, make you sing it's like, like five Beyonce. Bucks a, a bottle, and they're not even that big. I mean, it's like you know they're. But, anyway, but we have what's left in the. Um, whatever that brand, Aussie or whatever, what's left in that one, and then only have these $5 bottles. So I needed to know how much he uses to determine how much. This is my life now. Anyway, I, we're, we're rambling on here. We're almost at 12 minutes. So I know keeping your attention on this topic may oh, be I'm difficult. Sorry, <laughs> and we just hit our dog. Um, Checked out of, what's that place? I think that just checking out of the command. So I think oh. we covered things that we wanted to talk on. And again, um, there's no blueprint for this. If this is something that interests you and you're wanting to do, um, we're just trying to give you a peek into what it looks like. Very hard, very difficult, but it is doable. She said something. I'm going to close on this because this is something I'm struggling with and not everybody will struggle with it because not everybody has kids or has kids in stages of life like we are. But she's talking about second thoughts and se second thoughts are okay. Mm -hmm. it, it's, if you're not having second thoughts, I think that would be weird. Uh, and something such, such a huge life change as this is. But when I think about like what, we as late teens, early twenties fell on our butts. Like we failed. Mm -hmm. um, a couple times where we needed uh, a net to catch us, a safety net, and um, that was our parents. And it's going to be hard. It was my parents, and uh, if we we're not really capable of providing that safety net now. I mean, we can. It's a warm place to stay in the corner yeah. where the rest <laughs> of the where the shampoo is being stored. Small. But there is somewhere for them to, to lay their head. In fact, both of them could come and stay and they would both have yeah, I, somewhere to sleep. I'm not going to try to overemphasize this or exaggerate what I'm saying, but it's it's not like a regular size home. Yeah. There's not their own bedroom and stuff. And, and God willing, they're not going to need a safety net anyway. I mean, our kids are a lot smarter at this age than we were. Oh, um, but anyway, second thoughts are okay. Mm -hmm. Pressing forward seven more weeks. Um, things are moving along quickly. Anyway, we'll, we'll try to be more frequent with these, especially as bigger milestones are hit. We'll share those things. You good? I'm good. All right. See you next time.